What if I told you that the reason you're struggling with your fantasy writing is because you're trying all the usual things and following all the rules? To really shake things up, you gotta get weird sometimes. I've been writing fantasy stories for more than 20 years now, and in that time I've discovered 9 out of the box tricks that have proven to be real game changers for me. So in this video I'll share these unique strategies and how they have transformed my writing so that they can do the same for you. What if I told you that the key to unlocking your fantasy writing potential lies in the backstory of an object? Sounds strange, right? But think about it. Every significant artifact in your world has a history, and that history can add layers of depth to your plot and characters. Imagine an ancient sword passed down through generations, each owner adding their mark. This sword becomes a symbol of power, a catalyst for conflict, and a repository of secrets. When your characters interact with it, they are engaging with its legacy. Picture the One Ring from Tolkien's Middle-earth. Its backstory is integral to the entire narrative. The ring's history, from its creation by Sauron to its discovery by Gollum and Bilbo, shapes the journey of every character it touches. The ring acts as a powerful artifact and a character in its own right, influencing the plot and deepening our understanding of the world. By creating rich histories for your artifacts, you give your readers something to connect with. It's not just about the object itself, but what it represents to your characters and how it drives your story forward. Try this. Pick an important item in your story and write its history. Who made it? What events has it witnessed? How has it changed hands and what impact has it had on its owners? You'll find that these details not only enhance the object, but also enrich your world and deepen your character's relationships with it. So next time you're stuck, look at the objects in your world. They might just hold the key to unlocking new plot twists and character development. But let's jump right to the next tip. Have you ever found yourself losing steam in the middle of writing a crucial scene? What if I told you that there's a simple trick to keep your momentum going strong? Imagine this, you're deep into an intense battle scene, your characters are at the peak of the emotions, and the stakes couldn't be higher. Then you suddenly stop. Yes, pause right there, in the thick of the action. Why? Because leaving your writing hanging at such a crucial point can actually make you eager to dive back in and continue the next day. This technique, believe it or not, can be a real game changer for maintaining your writing momentum. It's like stopping a thrilling TV show episode on a cliffhanger. You can't wait to see what happens next. Let me share an example from my own writing process. There was a time when I was writing a pivotal scene in a story, a confrontation between the hero and the antagonist. The tension was palpable, the dialogue sharp. Right when the hero was about to deliver a crucial line, I forced myself to stop. It wasn't easy, but the next day I couldn't wait to get back to it. That anticipation made the writing flow effortlessly, and I found myself more immersed in the scene than ever before. Even renowned authors use this trick. Ernest Hemingway, for instance, often stopped his writing sessions in the middle of a scene. He believed it helped him maintain his creative flow and avoid writer's block. By leaving something unfinished, he ensured he always had a starting point for the next session. So the next time you're in the zone, try giving it a shot. Stop in the middle of that intense moment and see how eager you'll be to return. Now, time for tip number three. Have you ever wondered what's really going on in your character's minds? There's a simple yet powerful way to find out just that. Imagine this, your character has just survived a harrowing battle. But what are they truly feeling? What doubts or dreams are they harboring that haven't yet surfaced in your narrative? By stepping into their shoes and writing a diary entry, you can explore their inner world in ways that regular storytelling might miss. Let's take an example from a well-known fantasy character. Picture Frodo Baggins from The Lord of the Rings. We see his external struggle, yes, but what if he kept a diary? One of the entries might reveal his fears about the journey, his sense of burden from carrying the ring, or his deep yearning for the Shire. When I first tried this technique, I chose a pivotal character from my story who always seemed a bit elusive to me. By writing a diary entry for her, I uncovered hidden fears and aspirations that added depth to her actions and decisions. This exercise didn't just enrich her character, but also provided new plot ideas and dialogue nuances. Think of this technique as a private interview with your character. It's a chance for them to reveal secrets and vulnerabilities they wouldn't openly share with others. This raw, unfiltered perspective can lead to surprising discoveries, not only about the character, but about the story itself. You'll often find that these diary entries spark new plot twists or deepen existing relationships within your narrative. So grab a pen and channel your character's voice. Write about their day, their worries, their dreams. This exercise not only deepens your understanding of them, 
but also brings a new dimension to your storytelling. But let's shift gears away from the written thoughts of your characters and focus on our next tip. Have you ever wondered what really makes your characters' voices stand out? How you can reveal the essence of their personalities and relationships without relying on descriptive prose? Picture the heated exchanges between Gandalf and Saruman in The Lord of the Rings. Their words carry the weight of ages, power struggles, and deep-seated beliefs. The dialogue paints a vivid picture of their conflict in history without needing elaborate descriptions. What if the secret to this immersive experience lies not in what you describe, but in what your characters say? When I experimented with this approach, I stumbled upon an intriguing realization. I chose a crucial confrontation scene in my story and stripped it down to just dialogue. Suddenly the characters' voices and emotions became sharper, their intentions clearer. The scene crackled with new energy and focus. So here's a challenge for you. Take a key scene from your story and rewrite it using only dialogue. Don't worry about the setting or describing actions. Just let your character's words drive the narrative. This exercise forces you to delve into their voices, revealing how they interact and what lies beneath their surface conversations. By focusing purely on dialogue, you can uncover new dimensions of your characters and their relationships. This method not only hones your ability to write compelling dialogue, but also enhances the overall impact of your scenes. Try it out! Let your characters' voices carry the story and see how this approach can transform your writing. You might discover a whole new level of depth and engagement in your scenes. Moving on, it's time for tip number 5. Have you ever felt like your scenes could use a fresh perspective? Imagine you're reading a pivotal scene in your story. You're deep into the narrative, but something feels distant. Like you're watching the action through a window. What if I told you that shifting the perspective could pull you and your readers right into the heart of the scene? Consider a classic fantasy moment, Harry Potter's discovery of the Mirror of Eriset. In third person, we watch Harry's reactions and see his desires reflected in the mirror. But imagine if that scene was in first person. We would feel Harry's heart race, hear his thoughts, and experience his longing more intimately. Now, I have to admit, I'm not a big fan of first person narratives myself. I often prefer the broader view that third person offers. But I found that rewriting scenes from a character's point of view can reveal layers of emotion and detail that might otherwise be missed. By changing the perspective, you're not just telling the story differently, you're enriching it, adding a new layer of intimacy and connection. This technique can transform a scene, making it more powerful and engaging, even if it's just for yourself to gain additional insights. Now if you found anything useful in the video so far, please consider giving it a like to help me grow the channel. Thank you. Tip number six then is about finding ways to ground your story. What if I told you there's a simple, well-known ingredient that could adapt and realism to your fantasy world? Imagine your fantasy realm is on the brink of a massive upheaval. There's tension in the air, alliances are shifting, and something big is about to happen. The beauty of this setup is that it's not entirely new. It's inspired by real events that have shaped our own world. Think about the dramatic moments in history, events that changed the course of nations. Now envision how these could unfold in your fantasy setting. The fall of a great empire, the rise of a revolutionary leader, or a clandestine plot to overthrow a tyrant. These are all scenarios rich with potential for your narrative. Picture the fall of the Roman Empire. This monumental event reshaped the world, leading to a period of chaos and the rise of new powers. Now imagine a similar collapse happening in your fantasy realm. How would the power vacuum affect your characters? What new alliances and rivalries would emerge from the ashes? Let's take this even a step further. Imagine a rebellion inspired by the French Revolution. In your world, oppressed villagers could be rising against a corrupt magical elite. The storming of a grand citadel would mirror the Bastille, symbolizing the fight for freedom. While the historical parallels provide a framework, the fantasy elements make it uniquely your own. To make this practical, choose a historical event that intrigues you. Strip it down to its essence, the key players, the motivations, and the outcomes. Then transplant these elements into your fantasy world. Perhaps the Industrial Revolution inspires a magical technological breakthrough, leading to societal shifts and new conflicts. Using real-world history as a foundation can transform your fantasy writing. So dive into the annals of history and watch as your story gains new depth and vibrancy rooted in the echoes of the past. Three more tips to go, so let me share the next one with you right away. Have you ever felt like your scenes are missing that punchy, impactful ending? Imagine you've written a powerful, emotional scene. Your characters have faced their trials and the tension is at its peak. But as you read over it, something feels off. The ending just doesn't land the way you want it to. What if I told you that the solution might be as simple as cutting the last few paragraphs? 
Think about the most gripping scenes you've read in fantasy novels. Often it's the sudden unexpected endings that leave the biggest impression. By ending a scene abruptly, you can leave your readers hanging, making them eager to turn the page and see what happens next. Consider a confrontation scene where a hero finally faces their nemesis. You've written a detailed conclusion where the hero reflects on the battle, catches their breath, and plans their next move. But what if you cut the scene right after the climactic moment? The hero's sword swings, the enemy falls, and cut. The abrupt ending can amplify the drama and leave your readers in suspense. By removing the final paragraphs, you allow the scene to end on a high note, keeping the tension alive. This technique forces you to rely on the strength of the build-up and climax, rather than over-explaining the aftermath. Try trimming the end of your scenes. You might be surprised at how much stronger and more impactful your writing becomes when you leave your readers wanting more. Now, you might have been wondering about the dragon head in the thumbnail. So let me finally tell you about it in tip number 8. Imagine your characters sitting down for a meal. What they eat, how it's prepared and the traditions surrounding it can reveal so much about their culture, history and even their personalities. Food isn't just sustenance, it's a window into the soul of a society. Think about A Song of Ice and Fire by George R. R. Martin. The elaborate feasts at Winterfell with hearty dishes like honey chicken and roasted oros paint a vivid picture of northern culture. Its harsh climate, its emphasis on communal gatherings and its warrior ethos. These meals do more than fill the characters' stomachs. They enrich the world and deepen our understanding of the people living in it. By creating recipes for dishes in your fantasy world, you can add layers of authenticity and detail that make your setting feel lived in and real. Imagine a spicy stew that's a staple in a desert kingdom, or a delicate pastry that's only made during a specific festival. These culinary details can become unique plot points or character interactions adding flavor to your narrative. I once crafted a scene where the characters celebrated a victory with a special dish made from rare ingredients they had gathered during their journey. This not only highlighted their resourcefulness, but also underscored the significance of their achievement. The dish itself became a symbol of their adventure and the bonds they had formed. Incorporating food into your world building helps flesh out cultural details and societal norms. It can indicate regional differences, historical events, or even the level of technology and trade in your world. For instance, a culture with intricate baking traditions might suggest a stable, agrarian society with access to various grains and spices through trade routes. Creating these recipes can also provide opportunities for conflict or connection. Perhaps a character's unfamiliarity with a dish leads to an awkward moment, or sharing a beloved family recipe becomes a gesture of trust and friendship. Let the food tell its own story, enriching your narrative and providing a deeper connection to your characters and their cultures. You might find that a simple recipe can open up a whole new dimension of world building and storytelling. And this leads us to the last tip in this video. Have you ever wondered how your story might change if told from a completely unexpected perspective? What if your narrator wasn't a character at all, but something entirely different? Imagine the fresh, unique angles this could bring to your narrative. Think about it. Instead of the usual character-driven narration, what if you told a scene through the eyes of an animal, a magical object, or even the setting itself? Consider a classic example from The Book Thief by Marcus Suzak, where death serves as a narrator. This unusual choice adds a profound poignant layer to the story, providing insights and observations that a human narrator couldn't offer. Death's perspective shapes the narrative in a way that's both haunting and deeply moving. Now let's take this idea into the realm of fantasy. Picture a magical sword that's been passed down through generations. Narrating a scene from the sword's point of view could reveal its observations, its sense of history, and its unique bond with its current wielder. This not only adds depth to the scene, but also breathes life into the world you're creating. I tried this approach once with a scene narrating it from a perspective of an ancient sentient tree. The tree had witnessed countless events and held deep-rooted wisdom. Through its narration, this scene gained a timeless, reflective quality that enriched the overall narrative. Using an unusual narrator can also highlight aspects of your world that might otherwise go unnoticed. An animal narrator, for instance, could provide a ground-level view of events offering insights into the natural world and its creatures. A magical object might reveal hidden secrets and forgotten histories, adding layers of mystery and intrigue. This technique can also challenge you as a writer, pushing you to think creatively about how different perspectives can convey emotion, plot and character development. It's an excellent way to explore new storytelling possibilities and keep your writing fresh and engaging. So experiment with an unexpected narrator in your next scene, whether it's an enchanted artifact or a loyal pet. Let their unique voice bring a new dimension to your story.
Now, whether you're already deep into your story or just starting, if the beginning doesn't captivate your readers from the start, not even the weirdest writing tip will save your narrative. And wouldn't it be a waste if readers don't get to see the amazing results you've achieved using the tips shared here? So make sure to check out this video here where I share 8 mistakes that can ruin everything on page 1 and how you can avoid them.